us want to be here. None of us want to be out in the street picketing and showing people that we've come to the end of our, our tether with this. We want to be in our classrooms. We want to be supporting our children. This order will mean the presiding officer of the Scottish Parliament will not submit the bill for royal assent. Vetoing this legislation is an unprecedented attack on the Scottish Parliament. Please know that being your First Minister has been the privilege of my life. Nothing, absolutely nothing, I do in future will ever come anywhere close. Thank you from the very bottom of my heart. Despite my many disagreements with Nicola Sturgeon, despite my many arguments, I think that record in that time of service is worthy of respect and worthy of thanks. I can't take this as an opportunity to ignore what I see have been the major feelings of her leadership in Scotland. Well, Hamza, you've had a number of jobs in government. When you were transport minister, the trains were never on time. When you were justice minister, the police were strained to breaking point. And now as health minister, we've got record high waiting times. You've had many people, particularly from our LGBTQ community, say they won't vote for independence if you're the leader. Forget persuading no voters, you can't even keep yes voters and on site. Gives... I therefore declare Hamza Yusuf duly elected as the Scottish National Party leader. Uh, I am not just humbled of that, I most certainly am. I also feel like the luckiest man in the world. It is a really proud day for me and my family. I hope it's also a proud day for Scotland as it speaks to our values as a country as I stand here as the first ever Muslim to lead a Western democratic nation. I have to talk about television in the past tense, which breaks my heart. It is clear that Scotland's deposit return scheme in the scope and form passed by this Parliament cannot go ahead as currently planned. Some things have been happening that might be related. When my world Cold shower, Ooh. falling off my roof, ah! and my heels are on the ground. <gasps> we imagine a future, and our imaginings horrify us. Everybody else had to abide by the rules, and she broke the rules, so a by election get somebody new in. For people that lost relatives, it must have been absolutely sickening what she did.
this hopefully will obviously reduce the number of drug deaths. That's, that's clearly one of the aims and ambitions of what we want to do because we are in a public health emergency. There's tens of thousands of people that have spoken out against Rosebank already. We're not going to give up on the fight now. We're going to continue to do everything in our power to stop this disastrous oil field from going ahead. This, is, I think, is an important thing that's happened today. It's good for energy security. It's good for jobs and investment in this country. <laughs> Michael Shanks, Scottish Labour Party, 17,840. Michael Shanks, congratulations on your victory tonight. How do you feel about that? It genuinely is the honour of my life to have been elected by, by the people of Rutherglen and Hamilton West. I've, I've met thousands of them over the past six months, and for them to have put their trust in me means the, means the world. I have come to the realisation that I'm not able to progress and achieve independence in the way that I would like to. I'm not able to talk about independence or the strategy for independence in the way I would like to within the SNP. We're all feeling it because every Jew in Britain knows somebody who's over there, somebody who's been there. The situation in Gaza as we speak is a catastrophe. The people, their life is like hell. I know it's not usual for a Prime Minister to come back in this way, but I believe in public service. Criminalizing asylum rights! One criminalizing asylum rights! We will take the extraordinary step of introducing emergency legislation. I want to protect my family from being part from being part of the political and media scrutiny associated with this. Signing officer, the simple truth is they were watching football matches. That the evidence I shall give shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. But I understand the feelings of, the, of these victims and their families, and I am deeply sorry for the pain and the loss and the suffering of those victims. I share their frustration. My patience with this has worn thin. We've got to end the legal merry-go-round that has blocked us from getting our Rwanda scheme up and running. 